Good morning, good morning, welcome to my channel. I'm here to showcase the email in FIMRA pack. And for some of you that might notice I don't pronounce my words correctly, please be understanding. <laughs> Maltese is my first language and I do have difficulties with pronouncing words. So just laugh at me. I'm sure you understand what I mean anyway when I say it in family pack. This is the journal cover. It's a wrap around a snippet. It's the journal cover. That's the back of the journal. And it's a DT project for Paper Life by Lynn. It's been a lot of fun. I used all the ephemera pack. It's got some beautiful um, ephemera in this. I also included a very old, very old dictionary pay, uh, booklet. That would go in there. There's a vintage photo, more of the ephemera pack. So there's tucks there, a tuck there. Just making sure it's central as in FEMRA here. So just a little booklet. Oh, this is from the Infemra kit. You can put it through this way. I used a lot of lace and whatnot. There's I enjoyed this DT. I'm really one for ephemera. Here's some vintage postcards. This one is 1907, I believe. This one, I believe, is 1905. So this comes with the journal. This journal is for sale. There's a snippet with some fabric layouts with a vintage button, some vintage pages, either folding pages, a vintage envelope, turnover, and then there's a real vintage postcard, and that is vintage lace, and that actually flips out. So... Then you've got a tuck spot with the vintage ephemera. So this is basic. Well, sorry, that is part of the ta uh, part of the kit. I'm getting confused now. And this little man is who the journal is based on. So he's the little posty boy, and he's neat, gorgeous, and just a bit of layout, and he's. On the journal page, a little flip tag. And there's charms on this journal. There's writing space. There's doily. So you can write. There's vintage 1900s. Um, again, it's a couple of pages. Um, one of these, I forget what they call these, but I like them. Anyway, I include them in the journal. Again, you've got a vintage postcard. This one is, uh, it's written on 1911, I think. But it's very old, very old, and you can see. And that flips open as well. But I've clipped that stuff there. There's a tag. Like I said, I used my Tim Holtz papers. A vintage stamp book. This one's a Spain one. There's more writing space. There's a little tuck there. And there's a little vintage charm. 
I don't know what they call these now, but I know they're um, what they used to be. Oh, photos or something. <laughs> don't laugh at me. I'm I'm hopeless. Like I just can't remember the word for it. Little wage packet. More writing space. Just an old. This is a nineteen. Hang on a minute. Eighteen eighty five book. There's a tuck there. She got room for growth, and there's another snippet there. A stamp from the kit. That's from the emailer. Kit. Oh, there's more. So there's quite a bit in this journal. I know. This is a postcard, but it's a fairly newish one. <sighs> a note. Uh, vintage um, postcard and look I can't remember the date on that that's part of the kit as well I love them for that. there's a flip up there it's just got layers there um, a bit of snippets there's a vintage button I like I love flips That email there, stamp there, little flip there. Then you can do what you like with the rest of the pages. There's enough ephemera there for you to lay this journal any way you want. There's another flip there. So wherever you've seen the laces on the inside, they are actually the flip outs. And just a bit of layers there. That's that vintage stamp paper. It's not, that's not an old postcard. That's a new postcard. But I just thought it looked really good and went an old envelope. And I can't remember the dates on that, but it's fairly old. It's that old. It's very fine. So that's why I've tucked it in there. And that's underneath a flip out page. And there's more stuff tucked in there from the kit. Another tag, Tim Holtz paper, more stuff in here. So you've got lots of writing room. So you've got a tuck there and a tuck at the front. I've added that to it. That's from the, those other stuff from the kit. Here's another flippy here, but I've just left it closed in. Saves me undoing all these because I've got another postcard from the kit. You turn over, that's from the kit. I think it's actually freebies from the kit. There's an old bingo card. So there's an envelope, an old envelope, bingo card, and that photo from the kit. Now, I think it's from the freebies. I'm not even 100% sure. But anyway, it's there. So there the pages, journaling card. This is a little tuck. It's a hand painted doily. A tuck in there. And this has been sewn around. So you've got that tuck there. Edith Holden. You've got a tuck in here, again using the kit. I love ephemera kits, much easier to work with. And here, there's a tuck spot there. So you've got, you can fit heaps in here. I only just fitted, um, what I want to, there's a little uh, vintage gold button. And now we're on our last pages. And there's the ephemera. I hope you like this journal. I've kept it basically not overly done, but not understated either. I, I love the cover. I use some trims, lots of little layers, and it's just gorgeous. And like I said, that wraps around it. And that can be tucked in. But I love this bling. This bling will it matches in with that, and this is vintage.
doily little flowers that I've kept in line with it. So thank you for watching. This will be clipped on and that journal is complete. So I hope you like it and like I said, thank you again and uh, see you next time. Bye for now.